I was recently asked, can I use the very latest QMU in FreeBSD? The one available in ports and the package repository is 9.1.0. Uh, it's not the latest, but I think it's the latest stable release. And you can, if you want a little bit more cutting edge, use the QMU developed version 9.1.0.2024.0831. But I think that this person wanted an even newer one. So we'll show you how to do it in this video. Right then, so before we start uh, with this, we're going to have to install some uh, essentials. You know, PKG, install, and you install Git, uh, Python. You need to install PKG conf. Or package conf, Python, and GMake. So we'll just uh, get this going. Some of these are already installed for me, so it probably won't pull in everything uh, all at once. Yours might be different, of course, your, your needs. You might not have any of these installed, so it'll pull them all in. So yeah, I just need to install Python 3.11 and reinstall Git. Okay, that shouldn't take two minutes. All right, we're done. Like I say, you, yours might take a little bit longer. It depends on what you need. So let's clear this. And now we need to pull in the latest uh, branch of QMU. So it's git clone and then HTTPS github.com forward slash QMU forward slash QMU. So it's going to pull this in. It's going to take a while, I can tell you that. So we'll fast forward. Right, so it's up to the next stage. We'll fast forward again. And we're almost, yeah, we're done now. So we're going to change into the QMU directory. And just to sort, you know, what, what's in there, they've just got these files. And we need to build it. So we're going to make DIR build. And we're going to change into that. And now we just have to get with the, the configuring. So we configure GMake. Because without that, really, we're not going to get any, uh, any further. And this does take a while. So again, we'll fast forward. And the next step would be, you need to gmake check. Now, I don't know if you need to do this, but I think it's best just to sort of like, so you're not kind of like uh, going to cause any, any surprises later on. So we'll uh, fast forward this. You could, I suppose you could miss this step out. Right. On to the next bit. Again, fast forward. Right. There are one or two errors popped up, but I don't think that's really going to impact us that much. Anyway, so now we do as gmake install, and hopefully, I should imagine it will, hopefully things will just uh, install just correctly. And again, you can guess, I'm going to fast forward. There we go. So we're finished, and we're going to test this. So it's QMU hyphen system <clears throat> hyphen x86 and then underscore 64. Yeah, there we go. it works. Nice. Of course, not much going to happen because we've got no image uh, for it to load into, but it's just to show you that it, it does work. It does start to boot. As far as it can, of course. So I'll just close that down. And I'm going to download a FreeBSD image. But before I do that, just, just have a look at all these options that you can use for QMU. It's, it's absolutely massive. So I think really, you know, I think most people that would use QMU already have something configured. 
you know, some either in a uh, in a script or they know the commands off my hand. But it's just, uh, yeah, there's a lot. But for this uh, for this purpose of this video, I'm not going to get into all of that. And here is the image, and we're just going to just tell it to boot up with the uh, image. I'm not I'm not set up a hard drive or anything like that, so it's just going to boot straight into the FreeBSD bootle pull um, install. And just really just to test things out. And it looks fine. But we'll see how it really is. We'll get to the install part. Like I say, I've not configured any hard drive, so you know, we're not going to get much further than once it reaches that point. Yeah, it looks fine. And one thing I do notice it it's not sluggish. And I mean I know it's only just a text interface at the moment, but things don't feel sluggish. It's like when you use VirtualBox, it, it kinda like was, you've got all the overheads of that. This one because it's uh much more resource friendly. Right, so we've got to the nice little text based interface. Like I say, we're not going to get very far. And there is the error. It says these disks are smaller than the amount requested. So I, did, I didn't configure any virtual drive, so we're not going to get further than that. Just really to show that it works and it boots up. So yeah, fine. Here we are, the latest version. So uh, I hope so that answers your question. And yes, you can install the very latest in FreeBSD. And you know, this probably might work for other, other projects as well, so I'll have to give that a try. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful, and if you do, please consider subscribing and sharing, because that's the best way to help the channel, it gets the, uh, the algorithm to notice us. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.